Today I'm going to show you how I teach different land and water forms to my students. And I have six sets of land and water, form, water forms and I'm going to introduce each set. And I tell the students that our earth has land, air and water and we have different kinds of land forms and different kinds of water bodies. The first set is a lake and an island. A lake is a body of water. This is my water, that's the blue part, which is surrounded by land. An island, on the other hand, is a body of land. So it's land in the middle and water all around. The next set is a gulf and a peninsula. A gulf is a body of water extending into the land. And a peninsula is a body of land which is almost surrounded by water on three sides. It's a peninsula and a gulf. The next set is a cape and a bay. A cape is a body of land extending into the water, whereas a bay is a body of water extending into the land. My next set is a strait and an isthmus. A strait is a narrow strips of water. This is a narrow, narrow strip of water. I have land on both sides, which is connecting to larger bodies of water. So that's a strait. Whereas an isthmus is a narrow strip of land collecting, connecting to larger bodies of land. My last set is system of lakes and archipelago. System of lakes is where we have lots of little, little lakes close to each other. So these are the lakes, water and land around. And archipelago on the other hand are islands which are grouped together. Now I'm going to show how the children can do a little water work and explore the land and water formations more. So first thing we need is, we need a tray. We need a basket with a washcloth and I have little fishies and a boat and I have a plastic measuring cup and I put a tape here so that way the children know how much water they need to fill. So they just fill till the brim of the where the green tape is. So first we're going to do the island. Island is a land in the middle and water all around. So they're going to put the water right here and they can take a fishy, the fishy is swimming in the water and they can take a boat. How do you, how can you be going to an island? You can go on a boat and I let the children explore with this for a while. When they are done, that's the reason I have a little washcloth. They need to wipe the, uh, any object that is there and put it back in the little basket or in the little bowl and make it dry so that the next student can use it and then they need to dump the water in the sink and then again they can come back into the island, the lake right here. So that is how I present the lake and island and all the other land, land and water forms to my students. I hope that helps.